Turning to national defense now, four days after North Korea's latest nuclear test, the United States flew two B-1Bs over South Korea this morning as a show of force against Pyongyang. Kim Min bin introduces us to the long-range multi-mission supersonic bomber. Two supersonic B-1B bombers flew over Osan Air Base south of Seoul, escorted by South Korean F-15K and U.S. F-16 fighter jets. Speaking after the flyover, U.S. Forces Korea Commander Vincent Brooks said that Washington would not accept North Korea's nuclear program. North Korea's nuclear test represents a dangerous escalation and poses an unacceptable threat. The United States has an unshakable commitment to defend allies in the region and will take necessary steps to do so, including operations like the, the one you observed today and also the deployment of the Terminal High Altitude Air Defense Battery, or the THAAD Battery, to the Republic of Korea. The chairman of the South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said any provocations by the North will cost the regime dearly. Any threatening military actions by Pyongyang will be met with stern countermeasures that will shake the regime. The B-1B is considered the backbone of the U.S. long-range bomber force. It carries over 34,000 kilograms of explosives and can travel at a speed of over 1,500 kilometers an hour. From Guam, it will take the bomber just two hours to reach the North Korean capital. The B-1B was originally scheduled to come on Monday, but was postponed due to poor weather conditions at Anderson Air Force Base in Guam. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.